Hi, this is James Dyson from OptimizePress.com and in this vi series of video tutorials I'm going to be taking you through the process of creating a membership site within Optimize Press. Before I continue with this tutorial, I just want to make a quick note to you that Optimize Press itself does not contain any kind of membership security or download security scripts within it. What we prefer to do instead is actually integrate with a wide variety of other solutions that are out there on the internet because we know many people are already using these solutions and those solutions provide a lot more power than we can have within our own system. So prefer to let you integrate with the solution you prefer so you've got the complete flexibility so with that being said, we'll obviously have uh, separate tutorials helping you integrate with some of the most popular solutions out there. So in this first tutorial, I'm going to just show you the main membership options and also just show you how your membership can look when it's completed. So the first thing I'm going to do is just flick through my sample membership so you get a feel for how uh, your site's going to look and how the things come together. So if I just skip over to my home page of my membership. This is the page that people are going to see when they log into my membership. So we have a nav bar along the top here which is going to be customized however you want it. You can put whatever links you want on the sidebar there. We've got a welcome message. We've obviously got our header at the top. Um, this is our main content for our home page and then we have a sidebar here where we've got like a sidebar title, some information and a little icon here and then we've got the membership navigation. Now the membership navigation within Optimize Press is automatically generated based on how you structure your pages and we use the WordPress parent and child system for pages to allow you to build this, this um, membership sidebar to be um, as intuitive as possible for your membership so it will basically build itself as long as you arrange your pages properly. So if I show you the module one page here, so this is what our module one page might look like, and if I just refresh this, you'll see it as it should do now. So you can see here, this is module one, and we have the sidebar here is updated to show you the items within module one. We've also got this automatically generated list of items or content within module one here, so we can see these are two pieces of content or two videos or trainings that are included within this module. And this is, is all generated automatically um, based on the way you structure your membership. So if I go through to the freelancing business models which is our content page you can see we've again got the sidebar navigation here so we can easily get back to the module one page or we can easily navigate to other pages within this module. And We've also just got a video this is just um, with our video player that's built in and we've just put a video image over there so it's not auto playing and that's basically how you structure your memberships. Obviously you can make your memberships as big as you want, you can have as many modules as you want um, and really customize it to, uh, to your, uh, fit your business. So if I go back over to the membership page settings, I just want to go through these really quickly um, and show you what, you what you do to set up the membership page options. So we have our header here where you would upload a header you also need to upload a background URL image. Now if I just show you this image quickly, basically this is the image that's going to be scrolling across the width of your page. So you can see here it's just a slice of our header and this basically is the full width image that will tile across your page. We also need to set um, the header height and you can also find that out um, either by checking your image in a image editor or if you load it in your browser it will actually tell you the height in the browser. If you want to use a logo you can also upload that here. We then have the login page options. Now these won't always show but they'll basically show if you're using the WordPress default login page. So I've just uploaded an image logo here and I've set the background color so if I show you the preview of my page you can see it looks quite nice, it's customized and fits with our brand. You've also got the navbar settings and this is going to customize the look of your navbar within Optimize Press. So you can see here's my navbar here. You can change the uh, alignment of the items on there and you can customize almost any, any element of the navbar. You can also customize the font size and you can customize the thickness of this line below the bar. The final settings here, we have the welcome message for our home page the sidebar navigation title which you can override on individual pages, login page text and the navbar text for people if they're seeing the non-member pages and the link for that page. And that's pretty much it for the initial membership settings.